Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. I hope you've all had a great week. I am very excited about today's video. I'm going to tell you all about these beautiful and understated handbags that are not Michael Kors, not Coach, not Kate Spade, Louis Vuitton, Gucci, some of these companies you may have never even heard of. But before we get started, if you're new here today, my name is Abby and I make videos about fashion and style. So if you enjoy videos about fashion and style and you'd like to see my videos every single week, please hit the subscribe button below and make sure to like this video because it really helps to support my channel. As I've said, today we're talking about some of the most understated yet beautiful handbags. Depending on what country you're from, you may have already heard about these handbags. Um, um, this might not be anything new to you, but um, it's still fun to watch because I'm talking about bags that aren't so mainstream. I'm really making this video for my friends here in the US especially that are just starting to dip their toe into the world of handbags. The bags from these brands, as I've mentioned, are understated. They look beautiful and expensive, but you're also not screaming to the whole world what brand you bought your bag from. Or having to carry with you those stigmas or assumptions that can come from wearing these handbag brands that are so well known. When you carry around this type of bag, the fabric, the cut, the lines and colors and material all speak for themselves so that you almost have an air of mystery about you, right? Like, ooh, who's that girl? Her accessories are incredible. Where did she get those from? Rather than, oh, that's a Michael Kors bag. Now don't get me wrong, I love those brands. I've done a million coach hauls and Kate Spade hauls especially, but these are just a little bit different. The first bag brand that I want to tell you about, and I'm a little nervous because I know I'm going to pronounce this wrong, is Demelier. If you know how to accurately pronounce that name, please leave it in the comments below. I've tried to look all over the internet and I can't really find it, but Demelier sounds right to me, um, and so that's what I'm going to stick with for this video. My favorite bag from them is the Vancouver. It is number one on the top of my wish list for all handbags. I honestly think the next time I buy a handbag, it's going to be this handbag, and I'm so excited about it. Is it just me, or is this a fantastic dupe for the Celine box bag? Now, it's not inexpensive by any stretch of the imagination. It does cost about $460, but that is a lot less than the Celine box bag, which costs over $3,000. It comes in so many colors too, like this deep tan, rich red, or stunning ivory with a lizard effect. Some more of my favorites are their Montreal Maxi and Mini bags and the Alexandria bag. The Alexandria bag looks incredibly modern with the vertical quilting and gold hardware, but not so trendy that it will go out of fashion quickly. Everything they create is so sophisticated. The sharp lines, good quality, and beautiful textures speak for themselves. All their handbags and leather goods are handcrafted by artisans using local traditions in the south of Spain. They also claim on their website to only use real leather, sustainably sourced in Italy and Spain. And they also say they only work with partners who they know and trust, and who offer fair working conditions, and a safe working environment for their employees. Another huge bonus that I love is that this company offers free shipping to anywhere in the world and no taxes upon arrival into the US. The number two handbag company I want to tell you about is Polen. This is a French handbag brand that seems to be a little more well known across social media. I think they put quite a bit of effort into their influencer marketing, so you do often see this handbag on a lot of fashion influencers. However, when I mention this brand to most women in personal conversation, women within my circle, a lot of them have never even heard of it before. So we're going to change that. This brand was recently founded in 2016 by three siblings. The brand's collections embody classical and confident true line combined with fluid and graceful curves. My favorite bag from Polen is their Numero Un. I probably pronounced that wrong too, but we'll go with it. They come in so many classic colors and different types of leather to choose from, and they have a strong structure, yet these bags are undeniably feminine. The Numero Un comes in a standard size, which is perfect for taking to work, and in a nano size, which is perfect for all of your adventures around town. Another of my favorites is the Numero Un set. I mean, just look at the structure of this bag. This bag will dress up 
absolutely any outfit and I think in a really good way make you look much more mature beyond your years. Number three is the Cambridge Satchel Company. My favorite bag is their Poppy bag. It's polished and pretty and practical all at the same time. The bags are made in Great Britain and are 100% leather. Besides their push lock closure, of course, which makes for a modern and clean finish. I feel like all the photos make it look quite large, but you should note that their website mentions that it will hold keys, smartphones, pens, and a long wallet as the largest thing. So this might not be a great travel bag, but again, it's going to add a great air of sophistication to any outfit. If you're looking for something really interesting, please consider this beautiful doctor bag. This is the Sophie bag. It's leather bound, open frame, means that you won't ever lose a single pen. You can literally see all the contents of this bag just by opening it. Cambridge Satchel Company also makes the most beautiful totes. If you walk into the office with this Emily tote, you know everyone will ask you where you got it from. And then you'll be able to tell them all about this new brand that you discovered. And that's it for me, ladies. Please let me know what you think of each of these brands. Are they something that you would consider? Do you like this type of understated style? I would also love to know if you enjoyed this video and if you enjoyed learning about and discovering new handbags. If so, I have quite a few more companies up my sleeve, so I'd be happy to make more videos in the future if you did enjoy this. Let me know, and please don't forget to hit the like button because it helps the YouTube algorithm to show my videos to other people, and don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you next time. Bye!